Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mike from MoboxGraphics.com and in this video tutorial, we're gonna be going over a quick tip on a better way to share your files with other people. Um, your After Effects save files, project files it is. Um, and basically you're gonna be using a function called dependencies. So if you're not familiar, basically it collects all of your files that are used within your project into a folder that you could easily share. So here we are in After Effects here and uh, this project file will be uploaded to Patreon probably for like just like the $1 level. Um, but it will be uploaded, so if you're a supporter over there, you can download this. But basically, it's just this, you know, cube that spins. And I have these icons here. And they are in this folder on my desktop. So in this folder here, um, After Effects knows to look in this folder for these objects. And that's how they wind up in here. Um, if none of these files are linked and After Effects doesn't know where to find the files, for instance, if you just sent the project file to your friend, you're gonna get an error like this. After Effects cannot find the icons. And now your project is going to look like that. So that's not good. Um, you would have to then try to replace the footage with a file, maybe on maybe they had a copy of the files, but it's just a total mess. Um, even if the files, they do know where they're at, they'd have to reload the footage um, and hopefully they know where all the files are. Um, another issue is that a lot of times these files are spread out all wrong all over your all over the place. So these files may be in your downloads folder, some might be in your desktop, some might be in a project folder that you have. Um, oftentimes, you know, we're pretty messy in our in the way we collect projects. And, you know, just collecting all the files in one place may be extremely challenging. And then After Effects still doesn't know where to find them. So this is a easy way around that. So you could do this in two ways. You could do it for all compositions in the project, or you could just do it for select compositions. I tend to do it just for select compositions only because um, oftentimes I'm not sharing um, the entire project. A lot of times there's a lot of accessory files that I don't really need or care about. And really there's just one composition in here that I really need. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the composition from my project um, panel. So I wanna click the super cool project and go to file, dependencies, collect files. So it makes you save it first. So I'll just hit save. Um, and now from here, you could either select all compositions um, or just select the compositions. And for this one, I'm gonna do selected for uh, just the selected compositions. And you could generate some reports and stuff like that. But I'm just gonna hit collect and it will ask me up for a place to um, save them. So I'm gonna save this as, um, project file and you can see I already have done this once just to test it out make sure I was doing it right and I hit save and boom there it is so basically what it did is it saved my project file and it created a folder called footage and inside this folder it collected all of my files so it would have pulled from again from the from the file on your desktop from the file on your downloads folder all the files boom places it in one place so After Effects knows where to find them that way um, let me just delete these so they don't uh, get in the way of narration. Um, so basically now, if you just send this folder to your friend, he's got all of the files, he's got the project file, and there's no digging and there's no like lost files. And also another another easy thing, another good thing about this is that even for yourself, sometimes your files are just strewn all over the place. And this is a good way to just consolidate project files so you could save it for future use because your hard drive might die and maybe you, down, you delete all your download files. Um, and you forgot, oh crap, there was a file in that I really needed. This at least you could have them all in one place. Last thing I'll tell you about is the dependencies folder. I'm sorry, the dependencies report. Um, and basically this just tells you some of the text uh, fonts, um, where the files were collected from, and some other things. Some, it'll show you like effects and stuff in here. Um, not super important, but it's good to track sometimes. Some people might need to use that. So um, from here, all I do is I right click and I go to zip and I go to add to zip and it will create a zip file and then I upload that to Patreon or I would send this to my friend over Gmail or upload it to Google Drive. So anyways guys, I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know if this is a tip that you didn't know about. Um, I like doing these quick tips. I think we're gonna do a little bit more of them. We have the micro interactions, we have Cinema 4D, we have the quick tips and then we have like feature spotlight. So this is just kind of another one, something a lot of people might already know, but if you don't, it's like, so useful. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching.